Hello and welcome back to Princess Pudding Plays. Uh, we're back. So good. It's so good. Oh, okay, so I can reach that. Whatever the... F oh, it's a log. Maybe that's what they wanted us to do over there was use logs, but... I'm having trouble with these giant doors, so... Maybe... Maybe it's best we kept it simple. Yes... Yes... I'm sure those... Yeah, you were thinking about falling in, weren't you, Link, you piece of crap? That's sort of a minute in. I think you two won't say anything, maybe, hopefully. And we're saving. <laughs> oh my god. It only took me ridiculous amount of time to do that last time. I think we're gonna go this way, though, because... seem like this path doesn't have any bad guys on it. Where the other one does. It has a ton of bad guys on it. Because it knows that you have to go that way. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, guys. And girls. And nine binary. 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 Wow. Non binary <laughs> Pokemon and Pokemon trainers alike. Yeah, I think this was a shortcut. But I think this was supposed to be like a shortcut treat to those who figured out how to use. Oh, hell yeah, this was much faster. That was supposed to be a shortcut, I think, for the people who figured out how to use the. <gasps> There's crap falling on the side of a hill. Mountain. Well, let's rest. Oh my god. Oh, son of a bitches. Okay, let's do this. We got it. We're figuring it out. So good. So good, so good. Sweet, not freezing in a river. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, let's go get the juicy juice. That would have been helpful like five minutes ago. Last episode ago. Juice. Next is the camera. Oh yeah. Got the smart juice, and so now we're gonna juice all over the place. Don't take that out of context. Don't take it. Boom. Come on. You can make it. You can do it. You're figuring it out. Come on, Link. Some would say he's still having a hundred year nap. Because he's a slow boy. You know what? Where are you? Let's get out of here. Most of the bad guys. You just... I don't think it matters which side we do. 
uh, most of the bad guys in this game, it's not like a ton of strategy. Like the Lynels, Linels, sure, but is there? No. It's probably another weapon. I don't know. It's paraglide time, baby! Also, we have enough eyeballs now to get a heart or stamina. We're gonna get stamina, because... Ugh. Oh, you eat apples all day long, but... That doesn't make Linky faster. I don't know why, but every time I record, it's so... I have like a light that's on my capture card and it's so tempting to press it even though it would stop the recording. It's just always so tempting to press it. Give me the paraglider! Yes, but no! I'm gonna make you walk all the way back before I give you the paraglider. Also, I'm dead. Ugh, so ridiculous. And you bet your bottom we're gonna take the shortcut way back down. Ready for me to die seven more times to cross the river? I know I am. That's my favorite part of the episode. The part where the entire thing was me dying, falling off the side of the cliff, or dying being frozen in the river. Those are definitely my favorite parts. There was no other part that wasn't that. That was the best bit. Super the worst. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe I'll be good. Maybe we'll be fine. Maybe we'll do it. <sighs> of course they're not still there. Of course you have to redo it. Good god. You know what? And this would be just fine if I was skilled, but I'm not, so... Don't come at me. Okay? Uh, oh, it would, you know it would have been epic if he fell through that little crack. That should be... Oh, good god. I was about to say. Alright. Now we just walk it back and... Gonna go get our stamina. Finally. Because we're the slowest. It's ridiculous. Love this game. I don't mean to complain so much. I still have like 25 seconds left on the cold resistance. I guess 10 minutes was really all I needed. Even though it took me more than 10 minutes. Because I kept dying. Man. If I was really skilled, 10 minutes was probably all I would have needed. That would have been sick. That's not what you're watching. You're not watching a pro. Why are you watching this? Who knows? Probably because it's absolutely hilarious to watch me literally fail at the simplest of tasks. But there are other times where like, I super impress myself. Oh my god, even one of the windows is knocked out just so I can run through it. Ooh, it's all glowy. It's all like, this is the spot. 
You need to go too. Ha, ha. Oh, geez. It was all... Did you hear that? The little soft... Da -da -da -da? Like you figured it out. You piece of garbage. <laughs> now with the old man's eyeballs that I'm gonna eat later, I mean... Pray with later, I guess. I love how beautiful this game is, and then they have things like that that are very reminiscent of older game graphics. Oh. I'm on the roof, cause I'm Santa! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, how does that song go? Up on the rooftop, reindeer paws, down comes Mr. Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, there's a ladder. Down through the chimney with lots of boys. Gonna get my paraglider from this liar. Ho, 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 give me my stuff. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, which way? This way? Nope, that's not the way. The opposite of the way. Uh, maybe this is the way. Is this the way? Ho, ho, ho! Santa Claus on chimney rooftop thing. This only confirms all the jokes I've been making. Oh my god, get up there! Get your... Get your... Get it up there. Yeah, this only confirms all the things I've been saying before. <laughs> well done there, young one. Oh, this one has voice acting. Now, then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosporop Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. Let me see if I can get this louder. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So oh yeah, because it's that, definitely put together now. I thought it best to assume a temporary form. A Santa Claus. Forgive me. Santa is it real. You are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, 
an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> That's me! It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Oh wow, that's kind of a creepy sound. <laughs> he appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle. He got the fist. He got the, the camel and, and the elephant and the burb. He got them all. The and now they're crawling all over the place with their creepy ass legs. Going pew pew. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That shed. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courage. Oh, I know her. <laughs> we dated her right once. Up to the very end. Sorry about that. That night was none other than you, Link. Yeah, I said that. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken Paraglider. to the shrine of resurrection. Here you now stand, Paraglider. revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens... Yeah, Ganon I heard that about power. Himself, it's got like a hundred year warranty and then consuming. it just kind of stops. Considering that I could not save my own no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Oh. Somehow, Ganon has. I will. All four divine beasts. In like several months from now. <laughs> Oh, but we're gonna. I suggest just, just for fun. You make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Oh, that's very cool of you Follow to say that. Crocorico village. Crocorico. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Cool, cool, cool. Consult the map Paraglider. Paraglider. Slate for the precise location Paraglider. Of village. Make your way past Paraglider. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. And... Yes. Yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. It's what makes the whole game a game. Is this paraglider. 
out of here. That's very cool. That's super awesome of you. Very awesome. I will never do that because then the game will be over. Sweet. <laughs> Every time. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, I understand that this game's like five years old. How do I? Oof, didn't mean to do that. Uh, uh, how do I? No. No. I don't remember how to. Oh. <laughs> I do remember. Oh my god. Woof. Now we're cooking with gas, baby. <laughs> Let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom. You know what? I bet there's like a million other things we could be exploring on this plateau. <sighs> but that's not fun. Because we're moving on. Moving on. We. Is there something in there? Doesn't. Ah, oh, there is. <laughs> it better be something cool. And my inventory's full. What was that sound? Oh my god. What the hell is that sound? Holy crap. Uh. Uh. I can't be bothered with that. I need fire to even consider messing with that. Oh, man. We're at our time limit. Um, well, I guess next time on Princess Pudding Plays, uh, let me know. Do you guys want me to just charge the castle for funsies? Like, we're obviously not gonna... We're obviously not gonna win, but... You know, for funsies. Oh, am I gonna eat it right here? No! No! Hehehe. <laughs> oh no. There's an encampment. Okay, yes, next time. Next time on Princess Pudding Plays. I'll see you guys. <laughs>